what is going on savage life family today we are taking a look at x peng as you all know it has dropped six dollars nine percent maybe over nine percent in a single day and the reason for that is because china's government issued rules ex intended to restrict the ways in which automakers could invest in new manufacturing capacity for gas vehicles as well as battery electric vehicles so seeing as xpeng is a chinese manufacturer as well as neo and li those stocks ended up receiving a bit of a scare due to investors believing the chinese government will expand their investigation and broaden their reach on these companies here driving the stock price down so of course a lot of investors chickened out and wanted no part in it a lot of them did have xpeng at a lower price before the spike so they hopped out for profit but seeing as it is 64 dollars a lot of you individuals might believe this is an extremely overhyped overpriced stock at the current moment since it did jump a significant amount in only one month over $43 in one month that's a 219% return which is shocking and a lot of people are seeing that there's not a lot of room for much growth but I'm gonna go ahead and change your mind and show you what is currently happening with XPeng. So XPeng isn't directly connected to either of the companies under investigation. The report singles out two companies, Evergrande Auto and Bound and Group, as you can see here. But this report is just a roadblock for the time being and for investors that see a huge value in this stock here now that it has dropped six dollars a lot of people could dip in but it may not be the dip so when the market opens back up it's good to keep an eye on this and see if it dips any lower before buying back in so for those of you who are planning on holding on to this company long term which of course long term is where you make the big buck just keep in mind in april the government of china announced plans to extend tax breaks for evs such as electric or plug-in hybrid cars for another two years which is going to spur the sales in april of 2021 so if you haven't bought into the company now it's definitely a wise idea to buy in in the upcoming couple of months before april or months before april because that is going to cause a major spike on the stock price and seeing as this dip appears to be a temporary weakness in an upward trending market the country aims electric cars to account for 25 percent of new car sales by 2025 so if we're talking about five years out 25 percent of the car sales will be electric a lot of people are going to be transitioning to electric cars in the upcoming couple of years which will predominantly make ev the future now xpeng is only selling in china but it recently expanded their sales into Norway. All we need is for them to come down here to the US to cause a major disruption in the market. But we all know that's not going to happen anytime soon as Tesla and the US car automakers are taking over the US markets. And a lot of US automakers are switching to EV as well as you can see the new Ford Mustang and General Motors as well as the Ford pickup truck, which is going to be converting into electric. So electric is taking over. And if you don't own Lee, Neo, or Xpeng, now is the time to make that decision. You should be hopping into these companies now before you majorly miss out. You don't wanna be that guy who, who could have invested a couple of thousand dollars to become a millionaire five to 10 years from now. You don't wanna be that guy. So the company delivered 8,578 EVs in the third quarter, making a 266% year-over-year jump. Phenomenal, due to the fact that it was only predominantly selling in China. So now that sales expanded into Norway, upcoming in the fourth quarter, there is going to be some major changes. As long as the vid does not affect the Chinese economy in a major way that they will have to shut down then we have nothing to fear now i wanted to talk about us for a bit biden is being elected into office and he has some big promises to fulfill he says he will invest 
two trillion dollars in sustainable infrastructure including an ev charging stations that should go a long way to boost consumer adoption and jazz up some ev stocks <coughs> xpeng ladies and gentlemen xpeng so these are the news that you got to keep an eye out for these are the news that are going to be boosting up the ev stocks and these are indicators for what's coming up in the future more charging stations is going to create more demand for ev vehicles and it's going to create an attraction to more ev vehicles and sales which will drive up sales which will drive up revenue which will drive up stock prices it's all connected people so keep that in mind as well in california governor gavin newsom has set a lofty zero emissions goal for 2035 now that is an extremely long route far away but if you're looking deep into the future by 2035 the state would get to set its own emission standards and have all new vehicle sales be electric and that's going to be a major game changer who knows what the stock price is going to be at by 2035 i'm talking about thousands ladies and gentlemen and if you haven't seen their vehicles, vehicles they came out with the P7, not recently, but quite some time ago. And it does look like a resemblance of the Tesla. It's retailing at $1,000 less than the Tesla at the MSRP, which is 36K. Tesla's MSRP is 37K, but it is a beauty, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this car. You're telling me, you can't tell me they could fail as an EV company with a design this great so this is the future ladies and gentlemen we are looking at it smart cars will only get smarter and i could imagine past 2030 we won't even have to touch the steering wheel we could fall asleep while these cars drive us to work who wouldn't want to switch to that as well as helping out the world with zero emissions now if you're iffy about buying into the stock at the price of 64 dollars you should definitely check out their options which is booming at the current moment if $64 is not an attractive price for you to buy into the company you can go ahead and sell a put at around 55 not at around $60 which is an amazing price this current volume is a thousand dollars and the markets closed right now but you'll receive $313 in premiums for buying a hundred shares at 60 so you'll be getting an insane discount and if it doesn't even drop to 60 by friday of december 4th you'll just pocket those 300 dollars and repeat rinse and repeat so that's going to definitely be my plays in the upcoming couple of weeks i'm going to be playing with these ev stocks and keeping you updated how my portfolio is doing it has been booming so far so if you guys have any questions be sure to drop it down in the comment sections and I will answer it If you enjoyed this video smash that like and join the savage life family help me out subscribe. Let's hit 10k I'll catch you guys on next one later I can't see you again.